Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back uh, with quick hits again. Um, i got an important question. Is Top Rank dead? Haney and Loma bombed in the box off uh, in, in the pay-per-view. 150,000 pay-per-view buys at, what was it, 60 bucks a pop? Not good, fellas. Not good. We're going to get into all that. We're going to answer that question. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Um Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All, um, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. So let's get into today's show. Let's let's answer this question. Haney and Loma did 150,000 pay-per-view buys. It's a disaster. Um Eddie and, and, and Bob have been feuding again, and, and, and Bob called Eddie a clown and said his a joke in the U.S., um, and, and, and uh, Eddie clapped back and said he doesn't have any big fights. Um, his ESPN contract is done. I, I haven't confirmed that, so I'm not reporting that. That's what Eddie said. Um, I've not heard that. Um, yes, it does expire, but there's an option on it. We'll, we'll, we'll find out more about that, and we'll report on it. Um, but but Eddie said that you know it's done. And Eddie said they don't have any big fights, and he said this is 100,000 pay per views, which is not good. Obviously, it's quite poor. Um, I, I I I said this, and I, I want to get into why I think it did such a bad number. It's because it was the third pay per view in a matter of a month, four or five weeks. You go to Canelo uh, with with John Ryder. You go to Tank and Rye. Um, it, it was about the third pay per view in like four or five weeks. So something there was going to bomb. People aren't going to buy that. It's it's, it's just it, it's it's ridiculous to a point. You think that people are going to keep spending that much money on on, on boxing pay per views? It's just it's it's not going to happen. And so and finally, at that point, the rubber hit the rubber hit the road. And this has got the fallout. You know, if, if this would have went first, perhaps it would have done better. Um, but Eddie hurt, and it didn't. Um, and I, I said Tiafimo Lopez and, and, and Lomachenko, which was free a couple of years ago. It was a bigger fight. It was. And it was free. On ESPN. Um, you know, Top Rank has ESPN. Get some more money out of them. Get these fights on free TV. Grow your brand. That was the entire purpose. ESPN was a much bigger platform than HBO. More people, much more people have... ESPN than HBO, especially now. Most homes still have access to ESPN. HBO is a very, very shrinking company, right? So it, it, it made sense for Top Rank to do that. But now what you have is they're, they've taken it off of ESPN and put it on pay-per-view, which is a disaster. ESPN has more money they can shake a stick at. Why are you putting it on pay-per-view? Just try to increase the budget. Your ratings are going to support it. ESPN boxing ratings are similar uh, to what, what they get in the NBA. They're not that much different. I'm not saying they're going to get NBA money, but you can, you know, because like the NBA has how many shows over a short period of time is ESPN basically. I'm not counting the punch, I'm talking about the regular season, you know. And so, you know, ESPN has, has, has that, but the boxing numbers aren't much different. So, you, you know, it's not much different than the college football numbers that ESPN has. I know college football, there's 10 games on at a time. But what I'm saying is ESPN, to, I mean, Top Rank has a leg to stand on to ask for more money. So I, I, I don't think Top Rank is that. I just think they need to negotiate better. Now, Eddie Hearn raises a very good point in saying, what big fights do they have? Well, they got Tyson Fury, and that's their big fight. You can't count Tyson Fury to fight anyone. I don't know who, if, and when Tyson Fury is going to fight. I don't know if he is going to fight again. 
right? I, I have no freaking clue if Tyson Fury is going to fight again. I, I, you know, and it, when, if none of these things, I, none of these things, he's not going to fight Usyk because he can't beat Usyk. We know that. But will he fight anyone? But that's your big fight. You know, the good thing is that they had a ton of, of, of young talent on their stable. Most notably, Keyshawn Davis, Duke Reagan, Tiger Johnson, um, Jahai Tucker, Mason Abdullah. I mean, they got they got the entire Olympic team, right? Um, they got real good talent. Jared Anderson, of course. Jared Anderson. They should make a big Jared Anderson fight. I just don't know who they're going to make it with. Eddie Hearn has got a, 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 a legitimate point in that they don't have big fights. What you're hoping for is that you can get Jared Anderson a name and wins quick enough, like in the next one, which you can, right? Because I I think he can beat Anthony Joshua right now. Um, and then you can make that a big enough fight with Fury. But then you got to get Fury. It, it, there's a lot of ifs there, but that could be your next big fight. Outside of that, they don't really have much unless you want to co-promote. Right? Keyshawn Davis, Duke Reagan, Robisi Ramirez, they're not big names yet. Like, I, I should, you, you can have a nice little fight with Robisi Ramirez and, uh, Alberto Luis Alberto Lopez. It's a nice, it's not a big fight. You can get Keyshawn Davis a nice little fight at, at 35. These aren't massive fights. Duke Reagan or BC Ramirez, right? Like you could do, you really couldn't do Keyshawn Davis and, uh, I mean, in theory, Keyshawn and Shakur, in theory, you could, but they're not going to fight each other. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to fight each other. So you can't get that. Eddie Hearn makes a legitimate point. Is Top Rank dead? No. If their ESPN contract is going to be up and ESPN's not going to pick up an option on it, they're going to be in a bit of trouble. But they'll figure this out. But I, I fully expect ESPN to pick that up. So I don't I, I don't know where that comes from. Um. I don't, yeah, I don't, but Eddie Hearn has a fair point in saying that they don't have any big fights. They don't have Earl Spence. They don't have Terrence Crawford. They don't have, you know, they, they don't have Anthony Joshua. They don't have Canelo Alvarez, right? They don't have Tank Davis, Jamal, Jamal Charlo. They, they don't have those names. So they have a decent stable. They have an excellent stable of young fighters. I mean, if you took their young fighters against Matchrooms, or even PBCs, top rank stable blows them out, but they're not equating to massive ratings. Devin Haney versus Shakur Stevenson. That's kind of the best fight you can make, right? Uh, Shakur Stevenson and Lomachenko, not a title fight, it's not a massive fight. Um, you you got to try to work across the aisle, right? Maybe Ryan Garcia. You know, maybe Tank Davis, but I mean, um, can you get Jared Anderson and, and, and can you get Wilder? Can you do that? You know, I'm stretching here, guys, but I'm saying he's got a fair point in suggesting that he don't have any big fights. And with Haney and Lomachenko bombing, Haney's not a star now. Maybe it was just bad timing, right? Maybe it was just that there was too many pay-per-views all at once. But he's got a fair point. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. What's the what's the future of Top Rank? Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow Three D Boxing, Three D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits come at you every day, eight to ten minutes a day. Please also subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, it is May thirtieth, twenty twenty three, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay in.